The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Voting just isn't going to the polls on Election Day anymore. Options like early voting, mail-in voting, and ballot drop boxes are available to more voters and are growing in popularity. How to Vote, a tool created by Democracy Works, breaks down the options your state offers for casting a ballot, empowering you to decide when and where to vote. Democracy works best when we all vote, but misinformation and confusion about election procedures have resulted in low voter turnout. How to Vote, a tool created by Democracy Works, takes the guesswork out of the voting process. How to Vote is an easy to use and help folks from all over the country overcome many of the process barriers to voting. Democracy Works is committed to helping you vote no matter what. Their tool, How to Vote, does just that. You can sign up for election reminders, see what's on your ballot, get step by step assistance requesting your mail ballot, explore your options for returning your voted mail ballot, check your voter registration ch- status, find your polling site, and make sure you have the appropriate ID. Decide when and where you'll vote this year at howto.vote. That's howto.vote. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a Leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Oh, studios, visit our line at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Make your professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition. Call today, 1-800-303-3960, 1-800-303-3960, or email at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. 
Sonic Web Studios. Image the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard at MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play. Over 25 podcasts. Take the Mike Widener Show on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a wonderful musician who lives in the UK, a music pro with all kinds of famous musicians. And he's got some great music out there, including Stamp of the Heroes, Whiskey and Honey, and more. And, of course, uh, he's got his own music label, Kusha Deep Music Unlimited. And he goes deep into his music and going from Ireland to UK. And he's just been all over the place, just making a statement, helping people, and getting through the pandemic. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, from the beautiful UK in the Plus Studios. Ladies and gentlemen, Dara Reed. Dara, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure. We kind of, we kind of got there. I got the timing slightly wrong because I didn't realize uh, there was six hours, and and I kind of counted five. So I was here. <laughs> I was waiting early, man, with bated breath. But it's all good. We're here now. Wait, well, you know something too. It's also good that you got acclimated, had some coffee, and. Um, I'm about to have some with you, too, and um, I've always talked to some great people like you from the other side of the pond and what it's like. I have to visit the other side of the pond one day, and feel free to come to America as soon as the pandemic is over. If you have to fly, feel free to do so. So it's great. I'm, I'm, I'm totally down with that, man. It, it's great to have you on as well, too. So you got a couple of EPs called Stand for the Heroes, Whiskey and Honey, and you have also been in the music business for quite some time. You're back with a big beat, and uh, I've been on Electro 24 Radio, Global Drop, City Beats, and I mean, you're, you're just like an amazing person to be on, and you've had just limited experience and uh, widely known in the UK as well, too. And going into all that, tell us how I first got started. Um, well, I mean, you know, I think most most musicians will start kind of like early on, as soon as they as soon as they come out of the womb, I think kind of most musicians kind of are, are banging and tapping and singing and dancing at some very early stages. So again, it's no, no different for me. My mum was a musician um, and she was a piano in the house. So she was always kind of like playing that boogie woogie, man. And she taught me, taught me a little bit of 12 bar and, and it just went from there. And, you know, I kind of, I didn't really, if I'm honest with you, I didn't really get on that well at school. Um, and, um, I just kind of, yeah, and sort of drifted around a little bit after I left school at 16 and, and then just got into a band and went on and luckily, you know, got into a band that was touring and, and was lucky enough to kind of go on a road and sort of be able to make a bit of a living and learn a bit of the, learning uh, certainly about the, the live kind of trade. And then eventually um, I hooked up, I moved up to London from a place called Brighton and um, met, met a guy and we made a couple of tracks and we got signed to EMI. And then that's where everything really, really changed for me. And I was working with some incredible people who, you know, really, really taught me the trade of how to kind of conduct yourself in a studio and how to produce music. So I was very lucky and I had a few hits in, in the 90s and, and toured, lived out in Australia for a while, you know, worked for some of their top labels, fe festival Warners out there as well, um, remixed Tears for Fears and Frankie Goes to Hollywood and um, and then you know came back to England sort of in the noughties, set up Christian Deep Music, uh, and I've been putting out records and EPs and albums really sort of on that label, just building up the catalogue for that label since two five, um, and here we are sort of you know I'm I'm you know still banging those tunes out, and uh, as you just quite rightly mentioned, there's two EPs out at the moment, one called Stand Up for the Heroes, which is about a big tribute to all the key workers who have been really holding the fort throughout this kind of pandemic situation. And uh, I just felt that we kind of like, we needed to give them more than just applause. Uh, I felt they needed an anthem and a song that we could all sing. Um, and Stand Up For The Heroes, you know, it's been really well received. You know, it's been raising money for our health services over here. Um, and, uh, and, you know, as I say, I'm pretty proud of the way it's kind of gone. Uh, and the other EP that's just come out is called Whiskey and Honey, and that's got three really killer tunes on there as well. And uh, and and is also sort of doing well, really getting some good response on radio. Uh, and I'm literally in the studio now, just recording the the next single, uh, which is called Rise Like the Sun. And I'm really stoked because most of the stuff you've heard really is quite. I, I kind of mess about with genres quite a bit, so we I've created 
what I feel is is a kind of a, a genre called rock step, uh, which was kind of using rock and EDM as a as a merging platform uh, and creating kind of like that mixture between rock and dance music and that heavy duty bottom end production. So I did, I've done that and now I'm sort of moving in different directions. We've done tracks which I would call gothic soul music and now I'm kind of moving into this, yeah, I'm moving into this vibe called, you know, I'm just actually doing, this track is just, it's quite a Latin rock kind of vibe. Um, mm-hmm. we've got some, I've got a great horn, horn guy that's just done the horns from Portugal. Um, I've had a drummer from Italy play the drums on it. Um, and I've just been, yeah, building the track up and built, you know, in the studio here. And it's just, it's just belting. It's a real uplifting track. I hope that, you know, cause we're coming out, you know, hopefully going to come out of this situation very soon. And, and I just wanted to give someone, give, give people something positive to, to lift the spirits and just, you know, you know, hope there's a better tomorrow out of all this. Do you know what I mean? That we all learn something from the whole experience and kind of move forward in a much more united, positive fashion. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. Yeah. And of course, uh, you have this uh, unique genre you came up with, rock step and also gothic soul as well, too. Who are some of your favorite artists and musicians and um, guitarists uh, growing up? Who are some of your favorites? Uh, you know, they're all going to be the usual suspects. You know, we're talking sort of obviously well into Jimi Hendrix. Uh, you know, Jimmy Page, uh, those kind of cats, I suppose, were really, you know, but, you know, a huge one for me was Prince. You know, I just absolutely adored Prince when I was at school. Uh, and, you know, I just, I've really just got a lot of inspiration. I, I saw him as the absolute, you know, complete kind of artist who ran his own company, you know, could play everything produce right you know there was nothing he prince couldn't do so and just one of the most amazing guitarists as well i mean i think you know clapton when they said clapton what you know to eric clapton what you know what's it like being the greatest guitarist in the world he said i don't know ask prince you know what i mean so you know these you know he was the dude for me do you know what i'm saying and i obviously was so totally shocked when he passed away at quite you know i think it's still a very early age do you know what i mean so yeah, I mean, that, they'd be the dudes, you know, I mean, the classic kind of rock and roll from the 60s and 70s, you know, obviously the Beatles, the Stones, the Small Faces, uh, the Birds, you know, James Brown, Otis Redding, uh, all the Stax kind of Motown kind of flavours, Northern Soul, which we call Northern Soul over here, uh, you know, all that kind of vibe mixed with just, you know, but then coming in, you know, into the business kind of professionally in the 90s, house music was big over here, so... You know, I've got, a, you know, I've got across the board kind of flavors from sort of classic kind of stuff to to sort of more modern sort of hip hop and rap and a little bit of rap, you know, and and also sort of obviously the sort of the dance element, which kind of, as I say, I'm really into just mixing and merging different vibes to create something new. And, um, you know, sometimes, well, you know, I think it's worked. I think on this album, New Kind of Normal, man, it's worked really, really well. And, and people are just, you know, they're, they're just saying they're bangers. Those tracks are bangers. And that's good for me. You know, we I went out with a band and we did it all live first. I really tested those tracks out to make sure they were really kind of connecting with an audience and then just ripped it up in the studio. It took me nearly a year to make that record because I was kind of like, you know, we had Jerry Rafferty's drummer come in and some real cool guests that came in on that record. So, yeah, you know, it was, it was a good experience. And, and that one's, in, you know, in the bag. It's on on Spotify. If people want to tune in and check it out. But also it's getting some good drops on radio. We also have made some videos in America as well. We had um, Rocksteady. Was, uh, there was a video made in New York for that. We also made a video down in Atlanta, uh, Diamonds in the Shadows. That's, uh, as I say, in Atlanta. Uh, video. Uh, I think we made a couple more, sort of uh, one in Utah as well. I think for Phenomenal. So, you know, and I also had like you know quite a lot of good support on some of the TV stations like LA TV were really really supportive. H two O in New York were really supportive. Nashville TV uh, channels down there were really supportive. Plus, obviously, quite a lot of radio stations as well. So. You know, I can't, you know, I can't thank the American audience enough for the support that they've been showing me. Mm-hmm. You, you mentioned about the uh, the cities that have supported your music. You mentioned New York, Atlanta, and also Los Angeles, Nashville, yeah. and the like. What percentage would you say is, is the most popular that you have for your music? And uh, what are some of the other cities that you're going to be working on in the future? Yeah, I mean, I'd probably say sort of like Los Angeles is probably the kind of, um, you know, where if you look at the stats and stuff, you know, that that that's probably 
the biggest kind of zone, uh, followed by New York, I suppose. Um, and then, you know, building up a little bit of a vibe. I've got some good connections in Atlanta. Um, I have, I did play, um, I did a couple of acoustic shows back in the noughties in, in Athens, Georgia, um, and trekked around there. So I kind of got a really good feel for Ad- Atlanta and around that kind of neck of the woods all the way down to Statesboro and uh, borders of Savannah. You know, I love that place, man. And it's just so rich in musical history. So you can never, never, ever run out of kind of music to listen to. I mean, like Athens, Georgia is kind of like synonymous with some great names. So, yeah, you know, it's just it's whoever's tuning in at that time. You know, I'll play to whoever. Now, we've got an online tour coming up, literally starting tomorrow, um, which starts in North Carolina. And I'm literally going to be broadcasting from here into a different venue starting in North Carolina uh, Nebraska, Texas, uh, Los Angeles again, um, and then back to Carolina again. So, yeah, so that's that's going to be interesting. I've got dates. I've got dates literally all the way through this month uh, into September, uh, and it's going to be interesting because obviously you're broadcasting from your space and it's going into into venues where people are listening. There's a lineup of four or five other acts. It's acoustic, but, you know, I built it, man, do you know what I mean? And uh, and hopefully people will get into it and we'll spread a bit more love, do you know what I'm saying? Right, exactly. And, of course, comparing to uh, playing live, which everyone's done for numerous decades, and now the pandemic has forced everybody to broadcast from a home studio and just doing a virtual, do, do you think there's any difference when it comes to playing live versus playing, like, from a studio, do you get that same feeling, or do you have to adjust from your end to where you get the ju- try to, you know, capture a vibe almost like it's live? It's like, do you feel that is it easier, is it more difficult, or is it um, the same? Like you're trying to do a, a live show from a studio compared to say playing live um, in a theater or an arena. So how, how do you how you see the pros and cons of that? Well, firstly, that's a really good question. Um, I think there's there's a there's a counter argument for each. I think that um, I played just before. Uh, yeah, we went. I, no, as we were in lockdown, we I actually played a, a gig called Rock the Lockdown. Uh, it was one of the first online uh, kind of shows. It was like an all day, all weekender, um, and that was re- it. Was the first time I'd actually ever done it. Um, and I, I really enjoyed it. And I, that, you know what? It's kind of, there's not much traveling involved. You literally go out of your kitchen with your drink. Do you know what I mean? Head into the studio and bang, you hit it. Do you know what I'm saying? And it, it's just, Imagine. hello, New York. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's great. You know, so from that point of view, and then literally, you, you know, you, you come, you come off, you, you do your show, you're out of your studio, go back, grab another drink, sit down and kind of chill for the rest of the night. So it's, in that respect, it's actually really, really cool. Um, I think this will be. I'm, I'm not. I'm not too certain whether this will be how this will be because I'm not too certain if I'll be able to see an audience or not. Do you know what I mean? Responding. I'm not too certain if I can see an audience, and that makes it a lot easier. Obviously, you know, even if I'm playing to you know, to you and you're on your show, do you know what I mean? To see you kind of grooving along, and I know that I'm. It's working, and that's kind of cool. That's, you know, I, obviously there's going to be no substitute for playing live because when you get an audience on board, there's not quite anything quite like it. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, I think that's what most musicians live for is that is that connection that you have with, you, you know, your audience. However, having said that, you know, I'm not, you know, I think traveling kind of like can really take it out of you as well. Do you know what I'm saying? So, you know, to do a tour like I've just mentioned, literally from your kind of your studio, and reach different people from different states. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's a buzz. You know what I'm saying? I think there's room for both. I think that when we come out of the pandemic, you know, this will still be a big thing. I think people will still, you know, it's less carbon footprint as well. So there's that positivity for the sort of environment. You know, it's less kind of like, um, you know, as I say, it's more it's more friendly on the kind of the on the on the uh, on the planet as it were. So. You know, there's, there's pros and cons, but hopefully we'll come out of this and the gig thing will kind of kick back in again and we can all connect up because I, I think that's what we really need. I think we really do need to come together and connect. And, you know, the fact that we've all been separated and in our little kind of spaces, I think, has created a, a little bit of a, um, you know, division, divisionary kind of vibes, you know what I mean? And uh, and I think that, you know, music is one of those things that really brings us all together under one umbrella. So, you know, 
that's what I want. You know, I just want us to kind of come back together, you know, less partisan kind of thinking and, and more uni- unity and, and actually kind of like thinking how we can actually work as a team, as a doesn't matter where you're at or what, you know, what your vibe is or what your kind of, you know, your belief system is, you know what I'm saying? Like we can all find common ground and actually work as a whole to create a really beautiful space for us all to live in. Do you know what I'm saying? Exactly, and we'll, and we'll talk more about that, and we'll have you play a couple of tunes in just a minute to uh, give a, a new feel to it. But first, listen to The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and a 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Wagner Show at the on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with the uh, singer, musician, and multi-talented Darah Brady from Kusha Deep Music Limited label here on the Mike Wagner Show, broadcasting from the Plus Studios in the UK. And before we have you play a couple of tunes, and um, once again, tell us about how you got your your label, Kusha, Kusha Deep Music Unlimited, and um, the story behind the name. It sounds pretty cool. Yeah, so um, Kusha Deep really was. Uh, I, I was um, looking for a label name i came back from australia i think the second time in two through 2003 uh, and i was in thailand in bangkok and i was just l- literally i was re- i was reading up on um ancient vedic um uh culture as it were and was really interested with kind of like the the kind of like the whole cultural kind of like vibe that India had been sort of responsible for way back 3000 BC, um, yoga and meditation and all that kind of side of things that we sort of think is some sort of like something out of like, you know, it's come out of LA, but actually what is kind of, you know, it is an ancient <laughs> technology, you know what I'm saying? So I was really reading up on sort of how Vedic culture had spread around the world at a very early stage. It was one of the early cultures that, as I say, had really pushed forward with mathematics and and medicine and and you know the Kama Sutra. All that comes from the from the kind of the Vedic kind of scriptures, as it were. So I was reading this book and and this word, this these two words, Kusha Deep, pops up, and I thought, oh, that's really interesting. So basically, the the Indians at that point were trading with various different pe- people and Africa. Uh, was one of the places that they would they would trade with, and when the boats landed on the shores of Africa, they would see nothing but these massive, green, tall green trees. So Kusha Deep is basically the land of the tall, tall green trees, as it were. Kusha Deep in Sanskrit, obviously that's an English translation. So I just thought Africa being, you know, the home of the kind of rhythm and and musical vibrations that. I've re- I've kind of vibed with, do you know what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. I just felt it just felt right, Kusha Deep, as a, as a as a kind of like a, a label name to put my vibe under, and and that's really that that's really as uh, uh, what it what it what it came down to, really. Do you know what I mean? And and as I say, from sort of two five, it's been an active label, just putting out records that I just felt were were important because. The, the, the whole scope of the music industry had really changed by that point, and it was getting harder to get licensing deals, you know, rather than wait around for sort of labels to put stuff out for me. I just thought, you know what, I'll do it. I'll just get on it and do it myself, do you know what I mean? So, you know, and mm-hmm. I, enjoy, I do enjoy the process, you know. I think when you're signed to major record labels when you're younger, it sort of kind of makes you a bit lazy because you expect people to do stuff, do you know what I'm saying? So when you have your own label, you really, it kind of like makes you go, because there isn't the budget to pay the, you know, this, that, and the other, you have to do a lot of it yourself. So, you know, you're wearing a lot of different hats. But as I say, being signed to sort of EMI gave me a really good insight into how labels work from marketing to the legal departments to the art department. So I, I kind of learned, and also obviously the musical side of things. So I kind of learned how things work a little bit and 
I just put that into into what I do, man. Do you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, if people dig in it, they're digging it, and uh, you know, I just keep going with it. And, and hopefully, you know, I'm never really satisfied with anything I do, so I'm always kind of looking for the next thing that hopefully <laughs> I'll, I'll make a record that I go, wow, that's you know, that's I'm really really happy with that. Do you know what I mean? But you know, as I say, so and I think that's what keeps me going. Do you know what I mean? Is the thought that you know, you, one day you'll make a record that you just think that's just absolutely perfection. You know, and I, you know, I'm not saying the records I haven't put out haven't been awesome. Do you know what I mean? But but yeah, I just think that there's always that kind of like you can always take it up a level production wise or lyrically or you know just song structures or or even now just trying to push you know arrangements around a little bit so they're you know, we're not just following the same old format. So, yeah, you know, it keeps me excited. It gets me up. I've written a couple of books as well, uh, um, you know, so that's that's always a kind of the tip that I could even slip back into, sort of writing another book. Um, yeah, two books out. One's called Road Tales. Uh, that's about meeting amazing people on the road um, from, you know, Australia to America to Central America, Guatemala. And every it's, it's, there's 15 chapters and every every story is really about an archetype of human kind of endeavor. Um, so, yeah, it's a little book of inspiration that if you feel that you can't, you know, read these stories about these amazing people. They're not celebs, man. They're just normal, everyday people doing amazing things that I just felt, you know what, their stories need to be told. So that's Road Tales. Yeah. Um, and, and, what the, and what was the other book you mentioned? So the other one's called Night, the, the Night That Jimmy Died, and that's basically about, based on a friend of mine who was born in the same hospital on the same night as uh, when Jimi Hendrix died. In, and um, I just had this idea, what if their souls crossed over and she becomes this amazing kind of rock and roll guitar player who sort of saves the music industry from mediocrity, do you know what I mean? And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and she, yeah, she sort of kind of has this. She, she has a way of channeling Jimi Hendrix. So, you know, she's she's constantly sort of like getting inspiration from Jimi, and they have these amazing conversations. And as mm. I say, she rises to sort of like the top of her game, and uh, and then sort of dismantles the industry sort of bit by bit. But she works out a way of kind of like using frequencies to change people's DNA structures. And that's Jimi's just on a mission to save the world. Do you know what I mean? And, and- and yes, and the wind still cries, Mary, along the way. You know that. And how funny, because um, the, girl, the, the girl in it is called Chris, uh, Krista, and her mom's called Mary. Oh, that's where it came from. Why? You learn something every day. You know what? I'd like to have you back and talk about those books as well, too. And before we have you play a couple of songs, um, who, sure. who, are some, who are some of your artists on your uh, Kusha Deep music label? Um, so, I mean... So I've kind of worked with different people, like you know Rachel Brown from Faithless and Groove Armada. That they're, they're, they're sort of like there's a couple of tracks from her on on the label. There's some cats from uh, from Australia as well um, that I've worked with. That uh, you know got uh, the Gong kind of crew who are sort of psychedelic mavericks. Uh, there's tracks on from them. No one signed per se. It's really just me working with various different other people that. I like, you know, I, I want to work with on certain projects, you know what I'm saying? So I get a lot of different guest musicians in. Uh, like I say, we've had like quite a lot of cool people come through on the on the new kind of normal album. Um, some names, some just sort of supersonic kind of session cats that I just think, wow, are really good players, you know what I mean? So, so it's mainly in projects at the moment. It's a home to Dara um, and Urban Harmonics and a couple of other acts that I'm involved with. Um, that I put records out under. So it's really just mainly just different disguises. But Dara's my main tip, D-A-R dot R-A. So, and, and, so yeah. and, how, and how about those from America? Who do you have uh, from America on your label? So at the moment, I've got, I've got, there's no one sort of on the label from the States at the moment. I'm just trying to think who the connections are. I mean, I'm friendly with bands in America. I've got a couple of cats in there. There's a band called the, uh, uh, the Cranberry Merchants in Atlanta, who I'm really, really friendly with. I've just done a bit of a, a thing for their video for their next single. Um, you know, there's the Metal Birds from Los Angeles I'm really friendly with as well. Um, so, you know, who knows? We might end up doing some stuff, some collabs in the future um, and, you know, get that cross-Atlantic kind of vibe going on. Do you know what I mean? I did tour Australia with a, a singer-songwriter from Los Angeles, uh, a girl called Krista, actually, and uh, she was real cool, man. So, yeah, you know, we, we're still in contact. 
so yeah i mean i'd love to work with more american musicians and and um i mean actually having said that i've had a couple of american drummers on various different tracks i think there's an american drummer on whiskey and honey um so yeah i'm, I'm constantly sort of like working with but i, I tell you i've got a great filmmaker in Los, in uh, in new york who's uh and brendan mcgowan who who does all my kind of videos and stuff and he's just an amazing film producer um you know and obviously got, i've got pr co- you know people in, in in america to do my pr as well and uh so yeah, well, you know, I'm 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 constantly sort of working with American kind of vibes and doing interviews with people like yourself. Do you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, just you know, raising raising some sort of uh, some positivity. That's that's my my main goal. And it sounds like it. Where can people find your music at? Uh, so all the usual suspects, you know, from Spotify to iTunes to you know soundcloud i mean just put in dar.ra and literally you know all the gamut will come up you know if you want to search for those titles you can just put in my name and they'll all come up on spotify um yeah so you you know you're not going to be you're not going to be shy man if you put that in you know you're going to get plenty of good tunes coming at you do you know what i'm saying sounds great okay and we'll have um we'll, we'll have you i'll play a, a couple of tunes in just a minute but first listen to the mike wagner show at the mike wagner show.com powered by sonic web studios visit online at sonic web studios.com for all you need look at a professional website without break your own budget sonic web studios is the answer sonic web studios offers fast affordable custom web designs at below the competition way call today 1-800-303-3960 that's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention Mike Wagner's show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner show can be heard on the Mike Wagner show.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Wagner show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner show on the YouTube channel. Also, follow the Mike Wagner show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here at Dara Brady from. Who's your deep music unlimited here on the Mike Wagner show? And I know you're doing some jamming while we're trying to get some technical issues going since Skype has obviously um, updated just about everything without notice. And um, go ahead and play one of your tunes and uh, tell us all about it. So I'm going to play for you uh, this new song that I'm working on at the moment. We just got this in the studio at the moment with uh, I'm just doing a production and getting a mix right. But this is a track called Rise Like the Sun. So it's, it's real fresh, man. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it will be the next single. Wanna rise like the sun, won't back for no one. Rise like the sun, shine every day of my life. It's so Yeah. I see a million dreams 
twisted and left for dead. While the devil's busy, I never want to be. Nice job, the Hot Brady. Rise like the sun on the Mike Wagner show. Tell us more about that great song. What inspired you to write it? Well, I just literally it's only written about a couple of weeks ago, to be honest with you. But uh, as I said, coming out of COVID, you know what I'm saying, and uh, it was all very kind of down. Um, and I felt that we just kind of needed something that was going to just lift us up a little bit. And uh, you know, I kind of just, I, I, you know, I came up with a riff and. And then just it just all fell into kind of place, really, to be honest with you. And then obviously because it's got that kind of Latin feel, I thought, you know, I've got to really, I've got to go with that whole flavour. So, you know, we've gone the full splash with the horns and the and you know, real kicking drums. But it's a real beat. With you know, it's a real beat, and I can't wait to get it finished and get it out to you, mate, so you can drop it to your listeners. Because I think I think you'll love the if you love that, you know, that's the acoustic version. Me doing a croaky old version of it, but. You know, the actual studio cut sounds, I mean, it's just sounding so mint, mate. It really is mint. So I'm excited about this one, man. Do you know what I mean? Really excited. And hopefully uh, it's going to kick off. And uh, as I say, I've been working pretty hard on it for the last couple of weeks. And uh, we're, we're nearly there. We're nearly on that mix, man. We've got that and, mix happening. And once again, um, and once again, as soon as we're released, uh, where can we find uh, Rise Like the Sun? So it will be, again, on all the usual suspects. I might put it out on Bandcamp first, let it float for a week or so, and then it'll get on its on the general release on Spotify again and all the usual suspects. I might well shoot a video for this as well, so you know who knows we might we might might get another little video shot in America for it, you know some uh, somewhere down in maybe San Diego or something. Do you know what I mean? Would be cool. So yeah, you know it's it's cool, man. And as I say, I, it's just I just want people to be uplifted by the whole vibe and. You know, expect a few more Latin kind of hot flavored tracks from me. I think in the next couple of uh, next couple of months, because um, I just think it's got a lot of warmth about it. But you know what? There's also a lot of. I mean, when, when I write a song, you know, you it, it's uplifting, but there's always a sort of subliminal story that in, in, within that framework. Do you know what I mean? So this is really no exe- exception, and I think that it's it's kind of about you know. Uh, 
it really is about kind of rising to the occasion and, and being kind of like being fully yourself, really, to be honest with you, and uh, not really worrying if other people don't get you. Um, that's perfectly understandable. And before we play, have you play the last song before we go here, Stand for the Heroes, you also have Whiskey and Honey Eyes and EP and also Stand for the Heroes and EP. And once again, tell us more about those EPs. Um, yes, yeah, so basically Stand Up for the Heroes, as I said before, is uh, a song that was written for the key workers, the cats that were basically were holding a fort. You know, I, I spoke to a girl that worked in a bank today, lovely girl, and she was just saying, you know, that they were coming into work just not knowing what was coming at them. Do you know what I mean? And, and I think, you know, the people in the supermarkets, the people that were kind of, you know, t- uh, cleaning rubbish, you know, all the cats that were basically out there not knowing what was coming down the line. They're just, they're the superheroes. They're absolute superheroes. Obviously, doctors, nurses, hospital porters, you know, I just felt they needed a song that, that, that said, look, thank you. Thank you to the heroes. Stand up and, 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 and applaud their, their efforts because they're brave. They were, they're brave people. A lot of us were just hanging out in our houses, just kind of, you know, trying to ride it out. And, Mm -hmm. um, you know, and and a lot of people didn't see it. I mean, I did because my girlfriend runs a a care home and, and, you know, there was there was some issues there for sure. Um, But so we get we kind of saw it. We saw what was happening. And um, it's been a real journey, as as you well know, man, because we've all been through it together. There's there's no one on the planet that hasn't gone through it. It's not like it was just in America or in the UK. It was everywhere. So we got we've all got that common bond that we've been through something together and we can share that bond. Um, and again, coming back to, you know, we need to find what unites us rather than what divides us, you know? And, uh, and so that, that, that all my music is really about bringing people together uh, as opposed to sort of us kind of thinking that we're all separated and different and this, that and the other. So stand up for the heroes is that vibe. And, not, and then, and there's a couple of, um, there's a couple of really cool remixes on that. There's a very cool Bangra remix of a track called The Beat, uh, and that's that's really doing quite well at the moment. Funny enough, a, a, a cat down in Atlanta shot a little promo video um, just kind of just as the whole thing was kind of happening with the, you know, the protests and stuff. And, um, again, if you see that video, it's really about people being – it's just set in the park in Atlanta, and it's just really just showing – how people can live in unity, you know mm. what I'm saying? Just you know, and it's a it's it's a positive thing. So, so that's that's the the uh, track called the uh, um, it's on the stand up for the heroes, and then there's whiskey and honey, which has just come out, and that's got two remixes on it, and another track called the lights, which is phenomenal, big tune. Um, and so yeah, th- th- those two they're, they're all out on Spotify. They're doing doing relatively well, and. Um, I'm just hoping that your kind of listeners are going to dig it. Do you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, you just got to go and check it out, check it all out and see what you think. And then hopefully when we're all out of this kind of melee, maybe sort of like this time next year, we can come over and play and, and introduce ourselves face to face. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, again, you know, unify, bring the, pe- bring the people together. That's what we want to do. Bring everyone together. You know, and no that- division. And that's very ideal as well, too. Once again, to Rob Brady of Cusha Deep Music Unlimited here on the Mike Wagner Show. A big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Love you to have back on as well, too. And um, just a couple more things. Um, who do you consider biggest influence in your career? Um, that's a really good question as well. Biggest influence. I mean, there's quite a few of them. Um, I'd say my mum, probably. You know what I mean? I think she was my biggest influence because... She, um, you know, she was a musician. Uh, she was a nurse as well. Unfortunately, she she passed over a few years ago now, unfortunately. Um, um, but, yeah, she was definitely there for me. She bought me a drum kit when I was 10. You know, she lent me money to get a studio when I was, like, 16. Um, and there was always supportive, do you know what I'm saying? When right the way through her life, she was always there kind of, listening to new stuff and you know i came back from australia and you know the first i wanted to be with my mum. i knew you know i just had a limited time with her so i actually ended up setting a studio up in her house um and making we made an album called the soul hours album which again is on uh spotify you know and and i just yeah i was looking after my mum there but you know she never she never once you know ever ever said turn it down she was just the coolest <laughs> woman ever man do you know what i mean I mean, I remember doing a track called Let Love Be Your Religion, 
when she was really ill um, and she was lying kind of like I was trying to look after her. Uh, obviously, I was looking after her, but it was just before she went into hospital. And, and I had like, I was doing this track actually on Soul as it was called Haunted Dance Hall, actually. And it was had a horn section on it. And I had a horn section in the studio and the studio was in the top top of the house in a, in a sort of bedroom. And I had a horn section come up and do these horn parts. You know what I mean? Well, my mum was still lying there really kind of out of it and she still didn't complain you know what i'm saying so she was the coolest coolest woman ever so i'd say she was the the greatest inspir- inspiration and she just always you know when i said to her mum i want to be a musician she never you know at the age of 17 i remember coming back from you know some i was working in a factory and hating every minute of it and i just came back after about a week of that and said mum i'm going on tour with this band and she didn't she never said anything to sort of go oh no you know you're gonna waste your life away she was like all right love you know as long as you're happy mm-hmm. so you know it was that's that's you know i can't i couldn't ask for a better woman in my life than, than my mum really so yeah biggest inspiration and I'm I, just sad. I'm sad she's not here, man, because I think she'd be, I think she'd be really, really digging the stuff that we've been doing. I've been doing, particularly in the last couple of years. You know what I mean? I think she'd be like, she'd be all over that. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, she's she's listening. She's listening now, my friend. You know what I'm saying? Hello, mom. We love you. We love you. <laughs> yeah, no, and, we and, do. What's, and what's the best? You only get one. You only get one mum, and you only get one dad, and you have to love exactly, them. Man, you know exactly. Exactly. Yes, that's right. Very true. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Uh, just be true to yourself, you know, and, you know, don't get too hung up on on labels of what people think they are. You know, identification with things and, you know, is is kind of dangerous to your to your individuality. So the less you can actually identify with, i.e. I'm this or I'm that, the freer you are. That's that's it. You know, just identify if you're going to do, identify with anything, identify with love, because mm-hmm. really, at the end of the day, that's all we that's all that's real is when you feel the love for an animal or a love for, you know, a partner or a love for something that you do in your life. You know, if you if you when you feel that and it's really real, there isn't anything else. There isn't you know, you can be you can have all the money in the world, man, you know what I'm being and be the emptiest soul because if you're not feeling love then you're not feeling anything. <laughs> and we the, the, you know, we as uh, human beings wanna be loved. Regardless. Right. They want, we all wanna be hugged at the end of the day. We're not that complicated. We just want we want a, we want shelter, some good food, a drink, some good music, and we want and, and and the big thing is that you know are you loved? Are you loved? And and do you love? And funny enough, I've got a song literally about that uh, called "Live for Love." Um, you know, and it's it's a beautiful thing, man. So that's it. Just live for love, my friends. That's right, too. And of course, uh, what do you have coming up for twenty twenty and beyond for us? So obviously, rise like the sun. We've got, I've got that kind of in production. That'll be sort of the next EP. Um, I'm, I'm, I've got remixes of that. I'm not too certain whether I'm going to put some additional tracks on that because I really want to get it out as quickly as possible. Um, uh, so I'll be just, yeah. I've got, I've got an album's worth of material as well that I'm looking to record. Um, so that's, you know, to be, I'll just be recording, just kind of, you know, building my studio up. I've got, to, you know, spend a bit more money on a studio and get that really sort of up to, up to the, the next level. Um, so yeah, it would just be just writing, recording, uh, doing some online shows, doing as many interviews as I can, um, and just setting myself up and, and, you know, hopefully, as I said, we can come over next year and do some, do some music for you guys. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that'd be great, too. And would you like to play Stand for the Heroes or uh, something else uh, before we go? Yeah, I'd, um, I'd like to play Whiskey and Honey for you, if that's all right. Okay, sounds great. And then uh, for the, for your audio listeners out there, we'll have Stand for the Heroes at the end of the program. But right now, before we go, to Robert, Whiskey and Honey, I like this show. Sometimes you think Then we'll say goodbye Call each other out Every time that we 
child. It's over. It's over now. All these loaded games that we play. Whiskey and Honey, Gerard Brady here on the Mike Wagner Show. Gerard, big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Love hearing you play. Looking forward to having you again soon. And once again, tell us um, what's your website, how do people contact you, where can people purchase or listen to your music? Right, cool. Well, you can go to Facebook and check me out on uh, facebook.com forward slash Kusha Deep. Um, you can also check me out on Instagram, and that's instagram.com forward slash Dara, D-A-R dot R-A dot B-R-A-D-Y. Um, or you can hit me up on Twitter, which is uh, twitter.com forward slash Kusha Deep again. Um, or just search me out, man, on on, uh, on Google, D-A-R dot R-A is my name. Um, and I'm sure you'll be able to find me some someplace, you know what I'm saying? Sounds great. Once again, Gerard Big, thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to and soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on 2020 and beyond. You've been fantastic. Thank you very much, man. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I hope you enjoyed it. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and 
and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. 